In today's video, David Solomon, VP of Sales at SmartPixel, will talk to us about the levels of detail available for presenting the architecture of a future project. Hi, David. Hi, Valerie. How are you? Fabulous yourself. Oh, thanks. Yes. Great. Before jumping into the different architectural levels of details your applications offer, can you explain why it was a necessity to come up with alternative workflows? Sure. After many years in the business and after delivering dozens of projects worldwide, we had to deal with many different technical challenges, including different types of architecture, different types of files received from architects, and even situations where the project's design evolved during our production process, sometimes for local regulations, permits, or other unfortunate events affecting the silhouettes of the building. Some projects are also composed of several buildings, phases, or unique styles and materials making it challenging for a standard process to be effective in every situation. I understand. So what solution did your engineers come up with to allow the company to scale internationally and overcome the challenges related to architecture? Similar to the options available for the environments, we came up with two different workflows, each of them with different visual aspects. Now, this topic might seem a bit confusing, but please keep in mind that part of our expertise is to help developers, marketers, and architects to make the best decisions to bring the most value to their future property. So our first workflow is AAA. So as you can see, it really allows us to see inside the building in 3D from the outside. I can really zoom in nice and close onto the building, and really go around, you can see how close we can get in. We can create this beauty simply with using CAD files, Revit files, or really any other file format. Now you'll notice that it allows us to really create a much more accurate rendering of the materials and the textures on the building. If this client needed to update the building at any point, making the changes is really easy when you're using the AAA. I'm showing you this application, as you can see, on a large 4K 100-inch screen here. So if I want to showcase the beauty of this building, this is the ideal way to, to develop it. If this client has multiple phases or a complex architecture, simply put, this is the way to go with the AAA. Now, a reminder, this is a AAA building, and now I'm going to talk to you about the AA workflow, and that is quite different, because we offer alternatives, because you know what, in some cases, clients have different needs, different budgets, so we needed an alternative solution to accommodate them. However, there are some significant limitations that I would like to show you. As you noticed before in the AAA, I could zoom in really nice and close. I can look inside the building and I can see the interiors in the building in 3D. You can't do that with the AA. If I wanted to build this in AA, I would really need the, the, pretty much the most accurate textured Revit files. Cannot do it with less than that. When we're talking about the renderings on a building, here it's really, really bright in AAA. It'll be a lot less accurate in AA. You know, it's a complex process to update this architecture, so if changes are needed, it's really not recommended, and especially if the architect hasn't completed the Revit files. Now, in, again, like I said, this was a 100-inch screen, so on a large case, you want the AAA. But if you're using a smaller screen, your laptop to make a remote presentation, the AA is more than suitable. And again, if we go back to those multiple phases, you know, this is not the way to go with, with, with AA. You want to stay the AAA. And if the architecture is simple, AA is great, but if it's complex, Valerie, AAA is the way to go. And of course, your team is there to help the customer to find the right choice for their project. It's amazing. Our team is so experienced and so knowledgeable in this case that we really consult with our clients on each project to find the appropriate solution. You mentioned that AAA's allows to show a 3D modeling of the interiors, whereas AA does not. Can you explain this point more? And yet again, I have another AAA application to help me out. Furnished 3D interiors seen from the outside are often used for amenities to give the user a better understanding of what those amenities will look like once the project is built. Now, showing those interiors in 3D from the outside allows a much more realistic rendering. Now, especially, Valerie, if you can help me out here with the night mode once it's activated. Now, you can see beautifully inside. Now, please note, we're going to make another video that talks specifically about all the options available for amenities because there's a long list available. 
And from here, can the user travel inside to immerse himself into the future interiors? Uh, even if we use the AAA workflow, those solutions are meant to be seen from a certain distance. They focus on the outer views of the building. They're not recommended, as you could see, for first-person views. For real and accurate interior immersions with proper tools and functionalities uh, aimed at visualizing and customizing interiors such as the countertops, the floors, the backsplashes, the lighting, the furniture, we have another solution which we'll explain in depth in another video. And for the AA workflow, what are the options to show what is behind the windows? Great question, and for that, I loaded a AA application here on the screen. Because for the AA workflow, we can either fake the interiors using our own technique of generic furnishing rooms or make the windows completely reflective. Now, for the fake interior solution, as you can see over here, it is the most common option for residential real estate. What we do is we combine different image layers, which, go ahead, move the screen, so when the user is looking around, we give them the impression of it being in 3D. Here I have loaded another AA building to demonstrate the reflective window solution. Now this is the other option and it's quite easy to apply, but as you can see, it's definitely not the most accurate in terms of realism. We cannot see the interiors at all because we're using this window reflective solution. However, this is really great when we're talking about those kind of buildings that need that when we're talking residential, but also for office buildings, those office towers to get that amazing effect. Hmm. It seems you have a solution for everything, David. Smart Pixel is probably one of the first companies worldwide to initiate this trend of using real-time 3D technologies in the real estate industry. So indeed, we have many solutions for selling pre-construction real estate quite efficiently. I know we will make another video especially about amenities and first-person interiors, but often a parking lot, terrace or playground is considered to be an outdoor amenity. Does the AA or AAA workflow impact the rendering of outdoor amenities? Absolutely. So let me bring back that AAA building I had on before. Now, as I explained before, that AAA workflow will allow us to zoom in really nice and tight so we can see the details of these exterior amenities. So if you want that detail, you want that closer view, a AAA is the way to go. By contrast, the AA exterior amenities will be limited in zoom and limited in detail. It's wonderful. Thank you, David. Thank you, Valérie.